like ice cream socials. And yeah, some, you know. Uh, the church was more or less the center of activity. Because, as I said before, here in Davenport, there was so much treasure. So, there wasn't too many places you could go, things you could do. I mean, even to the point of where they, they were so bad up in here, to the point where uh, black people were, were uh, forced to walk on certain sides of the street. Like down on H Street. They had a place down there, it was called uh, Graystone Apartment, which was a lot of well-to-do white people that did that. And you could not walk on the side of the street. If you did, you'd take a chance on going to jail, because they would call the police. Uh, they had a meat market here. Right down there around the corner on there, it's called Reagan. And uh, my sister and I, we, we got a place we wouldn't go in there. Because she was a girl, and I was a boy. Well, I was so young, I was just a little, little kid. I didn't know, so she knew, I just knew. And uh, she had a couple of running with a book down in there. Because they wanted to call her a girl. She wasn't no girl, she was a woman. And you don't call a woman a girl. So, we quit going down. We started going to the store up here on the top of the And they tried that up there with her one time, and she put the guy in his place right quick. And uh, she never had any more trouble after that. But we didn't go back to Reagan anymore. Because they definitely did not want to buy people in that store. I have witnessed a few things. During the time I was going up here and going to third back of the church. Considered the North, and we didn't ex we didn't think that things like that happened, like that where we live today in, in, Iowa, right. in Iowa. Right. I tell you what, they had a saying here in Davenport. They had a saying here in Davenport. You're living 
up north, down south. I remember that very well. You're living up north, down south. Never let anybody say that, <laughs> that it was easy living up here or that things were as they are now or even anywhere near it. Because nothing could be farther from the truth. What school did you what school did you go to? I went to uh, Taylor School was my first one. Oh. And from there I went to JB. And from there I went to Central. Well in those days we didn't call it Central, but that was where I went. Like those other uh, three schools I went to. Uh, after they shut Taylor School down, I went to Jefferson. And uh, I was in the sixth grade. It was then just as it is now. But um, I, for some reason, never had any trouble racially in these schools. Or there are fights like kids get into it, things like that. I did have fights. But as far as any racial problem, I didn't have. Were you the only black in your class? Oh no, there was only black. Yeah. Plenty of Did the black people in Davenport have a place where they lived? Now I can remember at one point in time blacks could not live north of Locust Street. That's true. That was still true during yeah, your time too? That was true. Uh, and besides, it once lived in North Logan Street. In those days, it was mostly cornfield. <laughs> it was... <laughs> <laughs> looking at Davenport today, and looking at Davenport then, is like looking at Chicago. There was nothing out here, nothing but nothing in cornfield. But for what little uh, distance that black people could live was mostly on the east side. There wasn't too many black families lived on the west side. Now, I was born at 11, 11 Scott, which is just a mm, couple of blocks south or west of Harrison. But as far as people, black people,